So this is the tracking wheel we are running on our world's bot. Um, has a very, very low friction pivot because it's a screw joint that it's actually a structural screw joint. So you can see it's sandwiching the one by there and also on the bottom. And that just makes it really strong and really low friction. Additionally, you can see we have our rotation sensor here. It's mounted very loose. You can see it moving a little bit. That's so that we're not adding any friction with that rotation sensor being screwed in slightly off. Probably the most unique thing about this Odom wheel is the fact that it uses a polycarbonate leaf spring. And that allows the wheel to go up and down, not too much, but more than you'll ever need on a well-designed robot. And that basically gives you very constant compression on the floor. And unlike a rubber band, it's not going to degrade over time, so it has very consistent performance. Um, another thing you'll notice is it fits these two inch wheels and the rotation sensor is mounted very low. So we're able to, in this case, run a PTO shaft and a PTO piston very close above that wheel because of its low profile. There you can kind of just see the leaf spring moving up and down. Um, it has more than enough range of motion, so as long as you're not doing any crazy tipping, you should be fine. Um, and you can see if I move it around a little bit how it um, tracks the floor. But yeah, pretty good. We seem to like this design. Um, yeah, there's not much more to it. In order to build this Odom wheel, you need a couple unique things. Um, first things first standoff here um, it's sanded down so that it fits inside of the wheel um, and that makes it so that you can have a screw that's attached on both sides similar to how we do screw joints and that just allows for a really strong and low friction pivot you also are going to need a few of these brass inserts with the circular cutout again so that can spin on the screw you're going to need one of just a normal round insert with the top sanded or cut off and then just a couple high strength spacers along with your wheels and the rotation sensor in order to make this you just are simply going to have the rotation sensor put everything on that screw and then put all of the components on that screw and then you also want to make sure that you offset the omni wheels by 45 degrees so that there isn't a dead spot um, that's created if you would have just one of the two inch omni wheels.